When you think of the future of LEGO Star Wars, it's like gazing into a galaxy far, far away, full of endless possibilities. The theme has been going strong for over two decades now, blending the nostalgia of Star Wars with the creativity of LEGO in a way that has captured the imagination of fans, young and old. With every new release, there's always that sense of excitement. What iconic ship, character, or scene will get the brick treatment next? And let's be honest, with so much new Star Wars content on the horizon, the future of LEGO Star Wars seems brighter than ever. From Disney Plus series to upcoming films, we could be in for some seriously epic sets. One thing that's really exciting is the potential for more sets based on Disney Plus series like The Mandalorian, Ahsoka, and The Book of Boba Fett. The popularity of The Mandalorian has already gifted us incredible sets like the Razor Crest, and fans are eager to see more. Picture a UCS, Ultimate Collector's Series version of Din Djarin's N1 Starfighter, or even a highly detailed Mandalore throne room set. With Ahsoka bringing back fan-favorite characters like Sabine Wren and Grand Admiral Thrawn, it feels inevitable that LEGO will jump at the chance to create sets featuring those key figures. Could we be seeing a Ghost or Chimera set in the near future? I'd say it's a pretty good bet. And then, there's the tantalizing idea of LEGO taking on future Star Wars movies. With rumors swirling about new trilogies and standalone films, the potential for LEGO Star Wars sets based on completely new material is massive. We know that LEGO loves to release sets ahead of big movie debuts. And while we don't have concrete details yet, it wouldn't be surprising to see sets featuring new characters, planets, and vehicles as the Star Wars cinematic universe expands. Imagine a wave of sets exploring brand new planets, from the sleek starships of the First Order to rugged resistance bases, each offering new building techniques and pieces for fans to sink their teeth into. But it's not just about the new stuff. There's always room for nostalgia in the world of LEGO Star Wars. One of the most exciting trends we've seen recently is the return of classic sets, reimagined for a modern audience. Sets like the revamped AT-AT or the recent UCS Millennium Falcon are prime examples of LEGO tapping into the older fan base while still keeping things fresh for newer builders. So, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw more remakes of iconic prequel-era vehicles, like a highly detailed gunship or a fresh take on the ARC-170 Starfighter. Personally, I'm hoping for a Naboo Royal Starship. Now that would be a sleek and shiny addition to any collection. What really excites me, though, is the potential for more diorama-style sets that recreate famous Star Wars scenes. LEGO has been testing the waters with these, and I think they're onto something. The Dagobah Jedi training set and the Death Star Trench Run diorama have been hits, and I can see LEGO doubling down on this format. Imagine a diorama of Anakin and Obi-Wan's duel on Mustafar, or Luke's showdown with the Rancor in Jabba's palace. These smaller, detailed sets offer a different kind of building experience, focused more on the moment and atmosphere rather than just vehicles and minifigures. Of course, LEGO Star Wars wouldn't be complete without minifigures. The speculation around which new characters will be immortalized in minifigure form is almost as exciting as the sets themselves. With characters like Bo-Katan, Cad Bane, and Ahsoka becoming more prominent in the Star Wars universe, it's likely we'll see more detailed versions of them in the near future. LEGO has also been upping its game with new molds and prints, so I'm really hoping for more accurate versions of characters like General Grievous, or even a fully articulated battle droid. And let's not forget the potential for expanded universe characters. Wouldn't it be wild to get a Mara Jade or a Darth Revan in a future set? Looking further ahead, I wouldn't be shocked if LEGO dabbled in more interactive builds. With LEGO already experimenting with app integration, there's room for something groundbreaking in the Star Wars line. Imagine building your own droid that you can actually control via an app, similar to the Boost Droid Commander sets, but with even more customization options. The future of LEGO Star Wars might not just be about what you build, but how you interact with what you've built. This could take the theme into an entirely new dimension, mixing physical building with digital play. In my opinion, LEGO Star Wars is at a really exciting crossroads. There's this perfect balance between honoring the past and embracing the future of the franchise, and LEGO seems committed to pushing the boundaries of what a Star Wars set can be.